when you want to do radio experiments and especially make a, say a kind of radio that can receive radio signals that are amplitude modulated. This is say a, a very very good approach and when you have followed my channel you will surely have seen that I used this uh, circuit in the past etc etc but uh, well I want to uh, publish it again especially when you are a beginner in electronics and want to make a radio for shortwave in a certain way for shortwave it can work say to approximately 4 megahertz that is everything to do with the properties of the uh, short wave waves but for instance for um, AM for an AM radio this is a very good approach and I have showed here only say a first ID of a coil and I want to uh, tell more about it uh, because you can connect to this setup with one field effect transistor and one NPN transistor all kinds of coils all kinds of radio coils that can be tuned to different frequencies uh, we have to do here with parallel resonance uh, this is the tuning capacitor I've now used a 50 picofarad capacitor because uh, my idea was uh, let me show it in that way say with a parallel capacitance between 0 and 50 picofarad of course you can also use here a tuning capacitor that goes from say 10 picofarad to 500 picofarad and well that's uh, more or less say the ID of this video you can make a quite good working radio circuit between say uh, uh, 800 kilohertz and approximately 2.5 or perhaps uh, 4 megahertz with this setup so it in a certain way it is a kind of universal let me show it uh, and this demonstration demonstration is in a certain way sloppy but uh, uh, that's the reason why I name this video part one and Perhaps I'm going to make a part 2 and a part 3 and a part 4 to show all the good properties of this circuit. Uh, there are some uncertainties in this circuit. Uh, I'm talking here about a coil of an unknown inductance a capacitor of an unknown inductance uh, uh, well say it's a parallel tuned circuit say a tank circuit and well the antenna is also not very properly indicated it could be one meter two meters ten meters outside that uh, of course depends on the frequency where you want to receive a radio station anyway uh, because it is say a, a common ID a common radio circuit I say here that we only use a long wire antenna and I've also in this demo used a long wire antenna and a 14 picofarad capacitor to the top of the coil and when you study radio circuits you will often see that the that antenna is not coupled to the top of the coil but somewhere here in between and uh, the idea is that there is more selectivity well that's completely true 
and perhaps I'm going to pay more attention to that issue in the future. Well, anyway, what what is this circuit all about? It is a field effect transistor here, the BF256A, and here we have the BC547B. It's set to its same maximum amplification, but because there is no difference between the uh, collector resistor and the emitter uh, resistor that is not there, so it amplifies as much as possible, uh, say maximum 300 times. But anyway, uh, when you of course change the supply voltage, and that's done here, we said 1k uh, uh, potentiometer, I set the supply voltage, that means that also the amplification can be regulated. So the high frequency amplification is regulated here. Uh, the low frequency amplification is regulated here. The question could be where is the, the detection diode? Uh, it's a circuit for AM, amplitude modulated radio signal. So where is the detection diode? Well, it is not here. Or, in a certain way, it is here. Because inside that transistor there is a diode junction and that detects the audio. It uh, has everything to do with the primitive way of making such a circuit. But anyway, it can work very properly and, well, it worked very properly. You can use it in many, many Ways. So, that was the schematic, here an overview of the radio circuit, here an overview of the uh, tank circuit, say where it is all, where the radio uh, uh, frequencies are received, and well, let's listen, look and see what this circuit can bring. I hope my camera will not drop. Could be, by the way. Uh, well, switch on the audio now. And let's listen to what so this is a radio station that is received via this combination of a tank circuit. This is the coil. You can see it, see it here clearly. This is the uh, tuning capacitor. And now I'm going to take the ferrite rod out. That means that the inductance of the tank circuit, the antenna coil, where everything is received. By the way, it is here connected via a, uh, what is it? 18 picofarad capacitor to a wire antenna, a long wire antenna. So uh, whatever that all may be. Uh, I want to demonstrate how you can tune, not only with a uh, tuning capacitor, but also via slurk tuning, taking the ferrite rod in and out. Let's listen. And you can surely see what, hap what is happening here. Well, 
at first when I uh, tune in that ferrite rod, the, uh, the the quality factor of the coil, the Q, gets higher, but only on a certain frequency. And when I take it out, uh, say the coil receives all kinds of frequencies on short wave. I think it's short wave anyway. Uh, uh, all kinds of frequencies, so it gets a complete mess. And one uh, uh, idea to prevent that mess is using here that 14 picofarad capacitor. And uh, for instance, when I connect my long wire antenna di directly to this coil, it's a complete mess and you will completely hear nothing. No, no radio stations, etc. etc. So let's try again. Uh, I'm going to say stick that ferrite rod in and out. Uh, you, you will hear the different radio stations. Uh, but of course, that's a problem from such a simple radio. It is a TRF radio. Uh, it's not a superheterodyne radio. That means that the selectivity is not good enough to say discriminate all the different the different radio stations on this frequency band that this coil receives. I think it's it must be in the shortwave range. I don't know that exactly. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I will perhaps make an new video, better video. And this is say the only first ID for every beginner in uh, radio technology to make a radio. So anyway, TRF radio, that's what I mean. Now it's a mess. <laughs>